Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me, Stitching with Sue here. I thought I'd do a quick little video for you. Um, I was searching around on Creative Fabrica, and if you're not familiar with Creative Fabrica, I will put a link down below of um, where you can go. Now I do make a little bit of commission if you were to join Creative Fabrica and or purchase designs from Creative Fabrica. So I do have that uh, link and I will post it below, but I was looking for something, I don't know, I just wanted something to stitch that was quick. And I came across um, this little cow key fob and I just thought it was the cutest little thing. And it's a quick stitch, it's five minutes. So if you're brand new to machine embroidery, uh, doing these little key fobs would be a great uh, way of getting yourself into machine embroidery and or if you are experienced it could just be maybe you haven't done it for a while and you just want to get started with a small little project these little key fobs are the cutest thing so I already did one and it stitched out really great and if you were following me on my last video actually my first video from from about a month ago um, I was having issues with the thread now I will go over the thread in a little bit but um, since I switched over to this different thread, I'm not seeing a problem. So uh, we'll see. So let's go ahead and get started. Oop, and I just dropped it and it fell in the trash bin. Okay, so I am working on a Brother Essence VE2300. It's an Innovus machine made by Brother. I'm using a 7511 needle, which is the standard needle I use for everything. I have white bobbin in the bottom and the thread, that I'm using on top is black and it's a part of this company called uh, Heming, Hemingworth. Now it comes in this cool little cover and you leave the cover on and the thread actually comes out. I can't really see from where I'm at but the thread comes out of here and um, it, you keep it in this little thing. This little thing will pop off but um, I'm really liking this thread. And I only have uh, red, white, and black at the current time. And well, you know, I'm kind of uh, really liking it. And um, if I were to come into a little bit of ca extra cash, I wouldn't mind getting a few more colors. So let's go ahead and get started. In I have a five by seven hoop. I believe you make this design does come with a four by four. Uh, I, I I may stand corrected, but I'm doing five by seven. And there's plenty of room in the hoop. I have a cutaway uh, mesh stabilizer. So many of you may want to know about that. Well, let's go ahead and get started and then we can chat. So I'm going to put the foot down. I don't have anything in here but the stabilizer because it's going to do a placement stitch. And I am using the black thread because it does outline in black. And um, I'm able to see the black thread much easier. So um, what was I going to say? Oh, I am using, like I said, a cutaway mesh stabilizer. Now, many of you may not be familiar with that. Okay, let me go ahead and get, I'm using a, a vinyl on here as well. And I just went through my stash bin and I found this vinyl in there. So I thought this will be perfect for the cow design. So let me see, I think I'm gonna trim it, make sure I have it long enough. I think if I do it right in half, yes, that'll be fine. So let me cut this in half because you need two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. And I would assume you can use felt, you can use other materials that you may already have. Like why not use what you have, such as I am. So I'm going to keep that piece right there. And um, again, this is just... I'm gonna put down some tape. This is just pieces of, and it's marine vinyl. So if you're wondering what kind of vinyl, because this is kind of not so flat, I think because I had it thrown in the bin. It stuck to my finger. I had it in the bin. Okay, there we go. Okay, so next it's gonna stitch the outline. I'm leaving the black. So anyhow, the stabilizer is a cutaway mesh. It also comes in um, like a paper form, but I really like um, really like this mesh for this type of project. And you're just gonna be cutting away around the design anyhow. So 
so this works really well for that. Okay, now I have to change my thread to what they're calling Dusty Rose. Now I don't have Dusty Rose in this um, thread, but I did open a brand new spool of thread thinking maybe my thread, you know, from sitting around and I mean, it, it's temperature changes here in my craft room. Um, maybe the way I'm storing the thread isn't the best. Maybe the thread is kind of not old, old, but a little older that might have been the issue and a lot of times when you have problems with your machine okay so here we go so this is just a, a light pink when you have problems with your machine you kind of have to rule things out you know you have your basic things um easy things to check that may have gone wrong it could have been a needle change or a bobbin problem um, so you could change those out. Um, it might be the thread. Like maybe that was my issue. I don't know. But um, you just have to rule those things out and check your manual. And um, also you can go online depending on what machine you have. Um, Brother has a great website. They have a 1-800 number that you can call and you can speak to someone before you have to think of running off to the shop with the machine. You can try to rule out some of the things you kind of, you know, without taking your machine apart, kind of have an idea as to what it could be. All right. So I will put the link also down below for this design. Now it tells you they want deep gray. To me, deep gray is, gray is black. All right, so I'm gonna change back to my black. Thread. Look how cute that is, isn't it? This is super cute. So if you are looking for some quick quick projects, go on to Create a Fabrica. You want to go under the embroidery section, and there are thousands of designs on there. If you'd like to become a member, then everything you download is absolutely free. If you just want to give it a try and maybe just you know download a few um we're going to go ahead and get going with this. Download a few designs and try them out. Go ahead. But um, I think the best deal is to um, is to sign up and join. Why not, right? This is so cute. So you may be wondering, with Sue, why are you doing cows? Well, if you are brand new here, you may not know that I recently had a granddaughter and her whole theme in her room is all cows. So my daughter is currently obsessed with cows. <laughs> so um, when I saw this cute cow design, I thought, well, this will be perfect. Um, and you know what, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold off on this. I'm gonna press the button to hold and I think, oh, use the press it. I want to trim off this little thread. See how it kind of got caught under here? It's gonna stitch over it. It's gonna be a lot harder later on to trim it. Let's just get rid of that. There we go. Put that back in, put the foot back down and press green on this machine, green to go. So she's into cows and obsessed with cows. So I thought I would make a, a few little key fobs that she can use. And if you're wondering, what is a key fob? A key fob is basically like, a, uh, I guess it would be, would it be like a keychain kind of thing. And I am going to show you on the other one that I already cut out how to finish it up. And it'll be super cute. And if you're looking to uh, maybe do a small little craft show, you know, you could do, there are tons and tons of key fob designs on Creative Fabrica. You can definitely, and it doesn't take a lot of material, you can stitch these up in a jiffy and um, sell them because you do have the rights after you uh, get the design and purchase the design. There is the right there that you can sell them and um, you can make a little bit of money to throw back into um, some um, resources that you may need in your machine embroidery, whether it be thread, stabilizer, you know, those kind of things, door, other designs. But don't forget, create a Fabrica if you join and um, you have a membership. Uh, you can go ahead and download as many designs as you want. 
because once you pay the price, and they do have a, a membership you can join for an entire year. So this way, otherwise you pay month by month, but it depends on you and, and your situation and your affordability. But, um, you know, definitely check it out. Check it out. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. And I know when I started off, I just started rambling on. So if you are brand new here, well, welcome. We have an online Facebook group, Stitching with Sue. You're welcome to come and join in the fun there. Share your projects, share where you got the designs from, um, ask questions, or, you know, just be there to meet other machine embroiderers. And if you are a returning subscriber, then thanks so much for coming back. Um, I've been a little absent in a, for a, a few weeks. I'm hoping to um, get back into doing my embroidery um, videos. I'm having a little bit of issues medically right now and working through those. And it's kind of a day by day thing. So I don't know, I could have a day where um, like today, I feel pretty good. It's early in the morning, and um, you know, I just thought I wanted to do some embroidery. I did that little project the other day of the baby onesie, and I kind of felt like, yeah, I missed it. You know, I haven't really been up in my craft room doing my uh, rubber stamping or this, and um, I kind of just haven't had the energy for it. But right now, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. So I take what I can get. So there's our cute little cow. So now we have one more step to do. So we're gonna slide this out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over. Okay, now if you see any little uh, straggly bits here before you add your backing, you wanna go ahead and just trim those so you don't have problems with them sticking out later on. And Let's see. I'm kind of reaching around the camera, so I apologize if you know my hand is in the way, but I'm trying my bestest here. Okay. I think those ones in the middle will be okay. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our backing fabric. And this is a little crinkled too. And you wanna put the wrong side down. So the right side is going to be facing out. This is gonna make the back of the design. And I'm just gonna put that over there. And I am using uh, medical tape. I have it left over from, I don't even know what, but I have it left over. And I also wanna put some along the sides you know, this is kind of overkill, but because my fabric is kind of not so flat, I don't want to end up with a problem with that. So, okay. Let's slide this back in here. And also here, I'm going to put some of this tape. Like I said, it's it's overkill. Oh, that's a little too close to the stitching area. Let me reposition that. I mean, you definitely could stitch over this and it shouldn't be a problem, but we don't want to add any more problems. Okay, so there we go. Now it's going to go ahead with the black and it's going to stitch around. and then it's going to make two uh, little circles and that's where you're going to um, put in your cam snaps and I'm going to show you all about those. Actually, I should have got them out because I hope I can find them. But I will show you how to do that. Now there's a few little uh, threads in here and the best way I found to get rid of those little threads is with a seam ripper. 
So this is one, I think I got this in a subscription box, but a seam ripper is one of these thingies. And this little pokey on the end, it's perfect for getting in underneath to kind of uh, cut out those little threads. Okay, let me slide this out. And let me show you what I mean, if I can, from this angle. So see right here, there's a little jump stitch. I just go with my little seam ripper. And I like to do this when it's still in the hoop. See, and you just kind of trim that. Here's another one here. Let's kind of trim that. Um, here's one by the eye. Kind of slide that under. And then you could go in with your little embroidery snips and go ahead and trim that little thread that's still hanging. Let me see if I can get it with these. These are my, uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. So you go ahead and do all that while it's still in the hoop because it kind of gives you a little stability. I think it's super cute. Okay, so I finished sewing. Now let me slide it over. Let me get out, um, put some lights on over here so I can bring you all over here to show you. I can still hear me. There we go, there's our cam snaps. Let me clear my desk off a little. Okay, so what you would do now is you would take a sharp pair of scissors and you would cut around this whole outline. And let me get the one I already did. So you would end up with this. Leave a little bit of the um, vinyl. Now you don't see the stabilizer in the center. It's kind of sandwiched between and here's the back. So let me move you over. Close your eyes if you get dizzy to um, the area where I can show you how to complete your project. Okay, so these are cam snaps. And I purchased these through Amazon and quite a while ago. And I just kind of threw them in this little plastic bin just for, because it was easier for me. And um, when you buy them, you can buy them in a set where they come with, um, the little pokey things top and bottom and then it also has a little um, thing for to make the holes okay but I'm using this crocodile that I have it's an old crocodile it's from Stampin' Up and when you use this I'm going to use the smaller of the holes you're going to go ahead and and I have to well let me take my glasses off so I can see um, so you're going to go ahead and look down in the hole can you all see that I'm not sure if you can see that and you're just you're going to basically punch a hole punch one there and then punch one here okay and let me get my little scissors i'm going to trim this out this is little piece that's hanging i'm just going to trim that out like so. Okay. So this is going to go over like this. There's a little thread there. Let me get that. Now these days I've been seeing better without my glasses than with. Okay. So right now we are going to need four pieces. So you're going to need one that has an innie. And you're going to need uh, two pokies. And those are technical terminology, two pokies and an innie, and then you need an outie. And there's exactly what you're gonna need. Two pokers, an innie, and an outie. They call that a female and a male. I guess you all know why. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this piece on here and then turn it over and it doesn't matter which one you put on top. So you're going to put, so the Audi shows. And with this little tool, you're going to, this little white kind of creamy thing has a little hole inside and the bottom part, the black is flat. So what you wanna do is you want to put this in here, make sure that it all fits in there and squeeze it. And there you go. So there's that one. Then you're gonna do the same for the bottom. I'm gonna turn it over and there's the any, okay? And you're gonna take your little tool. And these are very inexpensive. 
and squeeze that. And there you have it. And it's a little bit off center, but that's okay because it's going to snap over like so. Now you can put a little key ring on here if you want. And this will snap like this. And who cares if it's off a little bit, right? Let me look and see. Do I have quickly? Oh, I do. I have another bin here. I'm going to close this up. And this is a hardware bin that I have. Now, if you want, you can put one of these little rings on there. Um, let me unsnap it. And let me find a small ring. There's a little one. You could put a little ring on there if you choose. You can put a bigger ring. Um, you can put a little clip like this on here if you wanted to. On that, that you could have a little, um, uh, whatever you want to call that thing, a little thingy thingy. <laughs> um, I also have in here little tassels. Those would be cute. Whoop. These would be cute to add on to um, your keychain. You know, whatever you want. Here's a little pink one that you can add on. But I think I'm going to put on, um, well, I don't know if I should do this. She's going to use it maybe for a specialty key. Or I can use a larger one. This one is like a binder ring kind of thing. And that comes apart like that that you could put your keys on. So let me do that one. So then that would be easy for anyone to put their key on. I'm gonna hide that little clampy thing in there. And look at how adorable that is. Isn't that cute? So let me um, close that up, move it aside. So anyhow, um, there is your cute little cow key fob. And real easy to make. So let me know what you think. Leave down in the comments. I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. And um, give it a try. Check out Creative Fabrica and see the fun designs they have. They not only have for embroidery, they have for everything. SVG files. They have for crocheting. They have for sewing. They, I mean, there's thousands and thousands of things on there. Uh, clip art. All kind of fun things not just machine embroidery. So it's a great resource and you'll never need any other resource than that. I promise you. Anyhow, thanks for joining. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you at, wherever you are at. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye for now.